Hello, so this is the second tutorial. Uh, it's about uh, of, uh, using FLTK uh, through Rust. It's about dealing with uh, user input, so uh, let's create a new app. This time we'll be using uh, the Windows subsystem for Linux. So, cargo new. <coughs> And uh, open VS Code. So this time I'll also build uh, FLTK from source. Uh, you need uh, CMake and a uh, C++ compiler. Uh, the last time we used the uh, pre-built uh, binaries uh, through the uh, feature flag uh, FLTK bundled. So this time we'll just uh, Build everything from source, and <clears throat> I go around. So this this should take uh, a little bit uh, longer, since uh, we're bu we're building uh, FTK uh, from source. So let's start. Uh, creating an application, uh, use FLTK. We'll also import uh, all the modules up in main. <coughs> so uh, I think we'll be creating uh, an app uh, to convert uh, from Celsius to Fahrenheit and uh, vice versa. So we'll create some functions. So from Celsius to Fahrenheit, take a uh, F64. <coughs> Turn an F64, and uh, the uh, formula is basically this. So uh, we'll take the value times 9.0 over 5.0 plus 32, and uh, basically it's the reverse to convert from uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius. <coughs> Minus 32 times 5.0 over 9.0. <coughs> so uh, it's still building. So as we said, uh, we need an abstract in the beginning. Uh, this initializes uh, FLTK. It's going to be a small, uh, basically, uh, window. So uh, let's say uh, 100 in width, and uh, if we have like uh, four or five widgets, uh, so let's say 250. <coughs> Uh, we'll be using a pack this time. So uh, basically a pack is a group which packs uh, widgets. Uh, I'll show you uh, in a moment. So uh, this will be, uh, the zero here is the uh, from the uh, border of the window. The, the x-axis for a window is uh, the border from the screen, and the x-axis for any uh, widget is the border from the window. <coughs> So this is the upper left border, the uh, basically the zero zero. And then uh, we'll take the same uh, dimensions as the window. <coughs> so uh, basically, the pack uh, uh, also implements the uh, widget trait, the widget trait, and the group trait. So uh, it needs the pack end. <coughs> Then when end, when show. So, uh, okay, uh, try to build. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, plus 32.0. <coughs> Uh, 
Okay, so uh, we'll just change some of the dimensions here, like 150. So if we start adding, for example, some widgets here, uh, so uh, we'll use several input widgets, so input 1, and uh, as you can see uh, here, uh, <coughs> in the uh, input widgets, there are several input widgets, so there's uh, float input, input int, input, multi-line input, and secret input. Uh, there are also output widgets, <coughs> multi-line output and output, and then you have the text widgets, uh, such as uh, the simple terminal, uh, text buffer, text display, and the text editor. <coughs> I'll go back, uh, and we'll choose a float input for this application. <coughs> so this basically uh, doesn't care about the uh, the pack doesn't care about the uh, x and y axes of the uh, widget, cares mostly about the uh, width and height. Uh, the width for the, uh, when we pack, uh, use a, a vertical pack, and uh, the uh, height for when we use a uh, horizontal pack. So uh, <coughs> let's say, for example, uh, the height, uh, the width will be uh, whatever in this case, 50 and uh, uh, the height will be 50, <coughs> and no label, and just repeat this again, so this is input 2, so we need an input for uh, Fahrenheit and input for Celsius, and let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So basically, uh, <coughs> the pack uh, basically packs the uh, inputs above each other even though here it appears as if uh, they're both at the uh, x and y axis uh, zero. So uh, <coughs> let's uh, change the width a bit. So uh, just before that I wanted to show you how it will look uh, if we change the uh, packing to be uh, horizontal. So pack, let's just make this uh, mute. Pack, uh, set type. Back type, we will say vertical. Any, uh, so this is the vertical uh, by default, horizontal, look like <coughs> this is a horizontal packing uh, of the widgets. So uh, let's we'll stick with the vertical, which is the default. So uh, we'll just uh, change the uh, packs width to be the same width as the window. And this should now be fixed. So uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, uh, two uh, input widgets. And these only accept uh, floating points. So we can add like a zero. And uh, <coughs> if we try to enter any uh, uh, Letters that you want to accept the E. So uh, just go ahead and close this. Uh, let's add some uh, frames. So frame one <coughs> is a frame which only says uh, Celsius, so uh, we don't care about the uh, uh, X and Y. And uh, for a vertical packing, we only care about the, uh, the height. So even if you give it zero, and the height will be 50 as the rest of the widgets, and this should say Celsius. And <clears throat> okay, so uh, we'll add another one uh, which says Fahrenheit. So point two, and uh, just uh, so uh, okay. Okay, good. So, uh, since these uh, won't be changing, just uh, <coughs> add this here. Uh, now we can add, for example, a button, which uh, 
will change the value of the other uh, input widget uh, on hitting the button. But uh, let's actually uh, make it so that the uh, uh, the the other input widget would change if the uh, if the other widget uh, is changing, for example. So uh, in this case, uh, we'll change the uh, <clears throat> the callback trigger, trigger of the uh, widget. So uh, let's say, for example, callback trigger. And uh, usually for input widgets, uh, the uh, the trigger for a callback is, for example, hitting enter. Uh, now it's going to be uh, when the uh, input widget changes, this will trigger a callback. So uh, let's do this also for the other one. So <clears throat> Input two, and uh, just set the uh, default values for the uh, input widgets. So uh, going to be, uh, for example, uh, zero for the Celsius and uh, uh, thirty-two for the uh, Fahrenheit. So basically, just like this one. <coughs> so let's say format zero. This was one. And here, I put two. Set the value to be 32. And uh, let's deal with the uh, changes in the uh, event loop. So, as, a, as we've seen in the last uh, tutorial, we'll match <coughs> the uh, Receive message. Uh, so run. This does nothing. We of course have to uh, basically create the sender and the receiver. So uh, this would just send a bool, which tells us that uh, it's actually which is uh, sending the uh, the message. So uh, let's say that input one uh, emits true, and the uh, other uh, input widget uh, emits false. <coughs> so now we can actually So this is receiving a, uh, an optional, always uh, the receiver receives an optional. And this is this optional is an optional of a uh, boolean. <coughs> so uh, let's say first message. So if this is true, that means that it was sent by the first input, which uh, should be Celsius. And uh, this will change the value of the uh, other widget. So uh, let's say uh, we're uh, actually changing from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So C to F. And we'll have to unwrap the value of the uh, of the input widget. So this is the uh, input one value. Of course, unwrap. And here, <coughs> this will change input one. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, yeah. Always messing up this. So this has to be mute and also this. Okay, so this is changing. Uh, so uh, it's because it's unwrapping a, uh, an empty string 
uh, as a float. So uh, let's just uh, handle it uh, here, for example. Input one pal is an F64 equals, for example, if the uh, input one value is empty. <coughs> Just return zero point zero. Else, and we'll just parse it here, and this will take one pal. And the same thing here. That in pal. You don't need the uh, F sixty four since uh, Rust can actually. Uh, for the types. So I just noticed something. Uh, yeah, this has to be F to C and here and to well. This is well. Okay. So uh, yeah. Let's try it again. Okay, so okay, so it treats it as a uh, zero. So if we say, for example, one ten or uh, thirty seven, okay, gives about one hundred. And if we change this ninety, so we'll just change the uh, formatting of the. Uh, value here to just take for example four uh, decimal points and also let's change the event uh, the height of the window so this is uh, uh, the height let's say it's only yeah there are only four widgets so 200. Okay, this looks a bit better. So if we say 100, sorry, uh, 38. Okay, <coughs> just checking. Okay, good. And if we say here, for example, 70. Okay, so basically, but. So let's change the uh, the scheme as we've seen also in the last uh, tutorial. So it's also in the app module. Uh, let's say it's uh, the game scheme. Okay, looks a bit better. Okay, good. So yeah, uh, that that was it. Uh, last thing uh, I wanted to talk about, which I didn't talk about the last time. So let's say, uh, for example, you didn't want to use the uh, uh, group uh, widget begin and etc. So uh, you can actually define these, for example, outside of a group. Uh, let's put them here. So uh, since these are defined outside, if we actually try to uh, run this, you won't see any uh, anything. So one way to do it, as we've seen, is to put it between these uh, begin and end, uh, uh, or before the end uh, function method. Uh, the other way is to use the add method. So add, and this takes a, uh, a reference or a borrows the uh, values, so frame 1. <coughs> yeah, say frame 2, and here 1. Two. You can also add these, uh, for example, outside the uh, end, for example, here. <coughs> So, 
you can see that uh, there are two ways to add uh, widgets to any other widget uh, which implements the group trait. So another uh, last thing uh, I had forgotten to talk about when you deal with the uh, events, for example, in the event loop, uh, you want to uh, actually put the thread to sleep so uh, you don't get uh, high CPU usage. So uh, you can just simply use the uh, thread uh, sleep function takes a duration from melees. So uh, 16 uh, milliseconds is like the uh, event loop uh, of a game, for example. You can also use uh, what's called a soft uh, event loop, which is uh, 30 milliseconds. So uh, at 16, you get 60 frames per second. That, you know, so that's why it's uh, like uh, a game. So if we run this, for example, you still don't notice any delays uh, uh, with the uh, 16 uh, frames per second and uh, 16, uh, 60 frames per second or 16 milliseconds. If we use 30, for example, it's basically the uh, same thing, which is uh, uh, not that important for a widget. So uh, maybe. Uh, so that was basically it. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, probably create uh, more content in the future. Uh, bye!